My name is Jihad Safir and I am the president of Isla LA. Well, my father and a couple of community members, they founded Masjid Ibadullah. In 1986, they opened Masjid Ibadullah from a storefront. So 2013, we made our transition. We founded Isla LA, and we began continuing the work that my father and a few of the communities initiated. One thing that I know is that the pioneers of Umma Clinic was always working with the pioneers of Isla LA. When we sat at the table and talked about a collaborative approach, to bringing community awareness about the transformative nature of Islam and what Muslims are doing, it was a no-brainer to really sit down with this LA. We're neighbors of each other. We're doing work in the same neighborhood. So this is a perfect marriage. Healthcare, re-entry work, housing, dental care, they all go hand in hand. They're all needs of people. Isla LA to me is probably one of those places or centers that really embodies the, the idea of true community. Over 75% of the employees that work at Ummah come directly from the community they serve. They're serving their neighbors, they're serving the folks they go to church or synagogue with, they're serving folks that go to school with their children. They come to Ummah, they can get healthy, they can lead productive lives, and over the years, Ummah has become the largest Muslim-founded American Muslim institution in the United States. It was important for us not to just pray in the inner city, but make sure that after we pray, we go out and engage the community. The food pantry where we service over 100 families. We have our mobile showers where people are able to make sure that they're clean. Those who are formerly incarcerated, are returning citizens, they have a place to go now. So this is important work that, that we're doing. We're making sure that Islam and faith is able to travel outside of the mosque and enter into the neighborhood. Upon being released from incarceration, I was at a halfway house about to get turned out of there because my time was finished. I would have been homeless. And there's a lot of Muslims that are stuck out there homeless and still looking for somewhere that probably haven't found in Islam. They did a lot to get me, get some foundation under my feet. I was so weak, you know, I lost everything, man. I lost 150 pounds. I couldn't stand up straight. I was going through a lot of stuff. And my mom and my sister had passed and I didn't get to go and see them. Uma Clinic, it helped me tremendously. They're getting me the medication I need. I have a place to rest and get my health back. At the doctor that's there, she know what she's doing. And she helped me a lot. We have this concept in South Los Angeles in the hood or, you know, the urban areas. People feel like we want to educate the kids so that they can get out. You know, but we looked around 20 years and everybody's trying to get back in. So what are we doing? We need to be teaching our children that you can be of a value right here in your own community. You know, we're not teaching you so that you can go out, but we're teaching you so that you can keep building. Uma is community. But Uma also has another root word, which is Ume, which is mother. Mother is a protector, mother is a nourisher, mother takes care of her child, and Uma Clinic takes care of this community. And that's exactly what we do. They were the first clinic to come in the neighborhood where I lived. There were no clinics. And the thing I liked was they didn't charge. And all, most of the people in my neighborhood, they didn't have medical coverage back then. They didn't have any money. They found out that I had congestive heart failure and they sent me to specialists. And with them, they don't send you to little specialists. They send you to specialists that you wouldn't have the ability to go to because of costs, but it doesn't cost you anything. They always push the fight, and that's Uma to me. They don't just put a Band-Aid on whatever's going on. They get to the root of it. If they can't do it, they're gonna send you to somebody that's gonna find out. UMA has each and every patient's back. Whatever they need, whether it's housing, whether it's food, whether it's treatment for their chronic medical conditions, they know that they can come here to receive that care. And there, there might not be another place. This might be the only place where they, they can receive that. Some people just come to say hi to our staff you know, because they feel so much comfort. And people tell me every day what a gift UMA is in their lives. I think that uh, organizations like these and communities like these are needed all over LA. 
just to make sure that we don't have our people falling behind. We have a lot of brothers that are living outside, hungry, they may not have enough clothes, they might not be getting enough education Islamically or otherwise. And there's things that a community together can do to change that situation for that person. I think the Islam community helps on so many levels to fix those kinds of situations for people. And the blessings from Allah is tremendous. The real value of any program is the people that it serves and how it serves them and what they get out of it. Uma Clinic is a stable. 20 years on the front line. Isla is a stable, 20, 30 years on the front line. Now to see the children come together to expand that service to the community is awesome. This is how we win. It's a win-win situation. I think it's important for people to get involved and support this effort because the need is definitely there, but also look at the ability to change a community. The ability you have when you contribute, when you volunteer, when you help, when you donate. You are really firsthand affecting a community and for the better. Over the years, the core of who we are is truly still a volunteer-led organization. This work does not happen by itself. It happens over the sacrifices and the selfless giving of board members, of community support. And that's why it's so important that your donation and gift not only help uplifts the community that we serve, the work Ummah does, that the work Isla does, but that continues to cultivate and put forth a generation that understand the importance of continuously giving back to the community. Your effort today will continue to plant seeds that will come to fruition in years to come, so your support today is very much appreciated.